Hi, I'm Donna, and I'm going to share with you my favorite recipe that my family loves to make on the weekends. It's easy, cheesy waffles. This is a quick and easy recipe to make, and it's a nice break from the usual sweet breakfast. One of the things my kids like to do with waffle is make little houses or shapes like this, and then they eat it. You can have this with your favorite yogurt, fruit topping, or a slice of turkey bacon on the side for a well-balanced breakfast. So let's get started. Now remember to always wash your hands before you start any food preparation. So this recipe makes about 12 4 inch waffle. You're going to need a waffle iron, two medium sized balls, two eggs beaten, one cup of low fat or non fat milk, whichever you prefer, one cup of low fat or non fat plain yogurt, and if you're not a fan of plain, you can try using half plain or half vanilla. I promise you won't be able to taste it. One tablespoon of vegetable oil, two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one and a half cups shredded of your favorite cheese. Did I tell you that cheddar is my favorite cheese? These waffles have a lot of calcium and protein, making them super healthy for our little ones. So let's start by preheating our waffle iron. While our waffle iron is heating up, let's prepare everything together. So in this bowl, we're going to add eggs, milk, yogurt, and vegetable oil. We're going to stir everything together until it's all mixed in. For busy mornings, this batter can be made the night before. Just cover and refrigerate, and in the morning, just give it a quick stir, and you're ready to go. Now, in another bowl, we're going to add our dry ingredients. We're going to start with our flour, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and mix everything till it's well mixed. You can ask one of your kids to help you in steering these dry ingredients. This can be less messy, or you can have them help you by handing you the ingredients. I'm sure they would love to help with breakfast for the whole family. Now that this is all mixed in, now let's go ahead and add our egg mixture into the bowl with our flour mixture. Make sure that it's all mixed in. Make sure that there's no dry areas. Okay, now that it's mixed in, we're gonna stir in your cheese. Until it's all mixed in. Yeah, this is ready. You want to be able to pour enough batter into the hot waffle iron to cover about two-thirds of it. You want to bake this for about five minutes until they're crisp and brown. And if you're looking to make this into pancakes, simply add one foot cup of milk into the batter to make it more of a pancake consistency. Okay, now it's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and get the waffle out using the spatula. Waffle iron is still hot, so be very careful. Mmm, this smells so good. Yum, these are so moist and crunchy. Thank you for watching. Now I have some waffles to finish.